In this video, I'm going to analyze and provide some commentary on my own spec tennis singles match. In this point, Jorge gets to the net and hits a nice short volley, which draws me up and puts me in a difficult situation to pass him. I do the same thing back to him on the next point. I hit my second volley short to draw him up. These next two points, I decide to chip the serve return short, knowing that he is going to serve and volley, in hopes that it will create a low first volley situation for him. I follow my returns forward to take away time from him by taking the next shot as a volley. Had I not hit decent serve returns, this strategy would have backfired on me. Here I go with a topspin passing shot cross court. The goal here is to make him play a backhand volley if he gets his paddle on it. In this next point, I hit the first volley deep back to him and then angle the second volley short. Against a good player like Jorge, deep volleys will often win the point less than drop volleys and short angle volleys because he's good at defending from the baseline. Here Jorge hits a nice volley that is intentionally not too deep. Had he hit it deeper, I think I would have had a good chance at retrieving it, but because he hits it shorter and at an angle, I have to run a greater distance and I end up missing it. Jorge hits an amazing second volley on this point. My goal was to jam him by hitting right at him, but he is able to lean away and play a forehand. He hits a nice short angle volley on this point. I almost run into the side fence to get it, but somehow I get lucky and I put the ball back into the court. He does a nice job defending tough backhand volleys here. On the final shot, my hand actually gets in the way and touches the ball. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. He hits a slice approach shot on this point, which forces me to lob because I'm having to deal with such a low ball. Perfect placement on the passing shot here. You don't need to hit deep to win on a passing shot. Here his angle volley attempt ends up a little deep, which gives me an opportunity to hit a passing shot from a balanced position. Here I think I make the mistake of hitting the first volley cross court because that means that I then have to adjust my positioning afterwards and notice that I have to scramble for the next volley as well, which doesn't allow me to dictate. Some lessons that can be learned from these points are number one, getting to the net in singles can be an advantage. Number two, hitting short volleys is often the way to go. Number three, slicing an approach shot can make it harder for your opponent to hit a good passing shot. And number four, if you're not set up to pass your opponent, Hitting fast right at them can force them to play difficult volleys.